Welcome to Think Big SAT Tips and Strategies. My name is Glenn and I'm the proprietor and principal tutor at Think Big Online SAT Preparation, where we specialize in 100% interactive one-on-one -on -one online instruction for the SAT. Today we're going to cover SAT common writing error number seven. It's called pronoun case. Let's start by looking at a simple sentence that illustrates this specific writing error. He sat between you and I at the stadium. Should be, he sat between you and me at the stadium. Notice that the personal pronoun I, which is subjective, shifts to the personal pronoun me, which is objective. So what I need to teach you is the difference between subjective and objective case pronouns. Okay, and some rules so you know when to use each. All right, let's start by going over this table. First person, whenever the speaker is involved, subjective case, I, we. First person, objective case, me, I. Second person, whenever you're speaking directly to someone, subjective case, you, singular, you, plural. Second person, objective case, you, singular, you, plural. Notice that second person, subjective case and objective case is the same. Third person, whenever you're speaking about someone or something, subjective case, he, she, it, they, objective case, him, her, it, them. Notice that it also goes both ways. Okay, now I'm going to teach you three rules. One, for when you'll need to use subjective pronouns, and two, for when you'll need to use objective pronouns. Rule number one, use a subjective pronoun when it's the subject of a verb. Example, Chris and he or him went to the baseball game. Okay, so let's find the verb in the sentence. Went. Who went to the game? Chris and one of these pronouns. Okay, now because this is the subject of the verb went, okay, we need to use a subjective pronoun. Okay, so what do we use, guys? Do we use he or do we use him? We use he. Chris and he went to the baseball game. I know it sounds awkward, but it's grammatically correct. Rule number two, use an objective pronoun when it gets the action of a verb. Okay, I gave Michelle and she or her a gift certificate. Where's the verb in the sentence? Gave. Okay, gave who? Who gets the action of the verb? Michelle and one of these pronouns. All right. Now, whenever the pronoun gets the action of the verb, it has to be objective. All right, so what are we going to use, guys? Are we going to use she or her? Her. I gave Michelle and her a gift certificate. Okay, rule number three, final one. Use an objective pronoun when it follows a preposition. Some prepositions include to, on, over, at, between, with, in, Okay, so if the pronoun comes after a preposition, all right, it's got to be in the objective case. Okay, so check this out. Example, please keep this information just between you and I or me. Okay, do you see a preposition? I do. It's right here, between. All right, now we have two pronouns that follow it, you and either I or me. Okay, now, if the pronoun comes after a preposition, it's got to be objective. Okay, so are we going to use I or me? Me. Please keep this information just between you and me. Okay, so these are the three rules that you need to know to do well on this kind of problem. Um, a, a technique that I use to recall subjective pronouns um, is I just try to form sentences with them at the beginning. Um, and if you can, that pronoun is subjective. So for instance, you can say, you know, I went to the game, we went to the game, he went to the game, she went to the game, they went to the game, right? You can start a sentence with those pronouns. 
Okay, but you cannot start a sentence with these pronouns, objective pronouns. Me went to the game, us went to the game, him went to the game, her went to the game, them went to the game. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll try to start a sentence with a pronoun, and if I can, it's subjective, and the opposite of that pronoun is in the objective case, right? So like I, you can start a sentence with the subjective, opposite of it is me, objective. We, you can start a sentence with, opposite of it is us, objective for instance. All right, now we're going to work on five official SAT practice test problems. Again, all of these have the error pronoun case. Here we go. Before the end of the semester, each of you needs to meet with your advisor or I to discuss your plans for next year. Okay, so I'm going to point out the error right away. It's D. All right, now I is subjective, okay? Um, but we're going to need to use the opposite of that, me, objective, all right? But let's see why. Each of you needs to meet with your advisor or I. Okay, what is with? What part of speech? Well, with is a preposition. Okay, and notice that the pronoun I comes after the preposition with. What did we say? Use an objective pronoun when it follows a preposition. Okay, so we need to use the objective pronoun me here. All right, before the end of the semester, each of you needs to meet with your advisor or me to discuss your plans for next year. All right, moving on. By the time Mitzi and myself got to the box office, all the tickets for the show had already been sold. So let me show you the R right away. It's B. Okay, now, what part of speech is got? Got is a verb. Okay, um, now, who's the subject of the verb got? Who got? Mitzi and this pronoun right here. Now, when a pronoun is the subject of a verb, what do we need to do? Use a subjective pronoun when it's the subject of a verb. All right, so that problem use myself, which is um, a reflexive pronoun, but we're going to need to use I. By the time Mitzi and I got to the box office, all of the tickets for the shows had already been sold. Now, if it helps you, you can cross off the, um, the, the name Mitzi. By the time myself got to the box office? No, by the time I got to the box office. All right, and that, that um, just really accentuates the error. Okay, moving on. There has always been a great deal of friction between Joan and I because we have opposing political views about which we are very vocal. Okay, so the error occurs at B. It's this pronoun I, all right? Now, I is subjective, all right, but what part of speech is between? Between is a preposition. Okay, what did we say? We said that use an objective pronoun when it follows a preposition. Look at this. Just between you and me, right? Me is objective. Okay, so we need to change I to me. There has always been a great deal of friction between Joan and me because we have opposing political views about which we are very vocal. All right. Paul's letter to myself about the missing money was not intended to be read by any other member of the organization. Okay, so I'm going to point out the error right here. Again, the sentence uses a reflexive pronoun when it should use an objective one, right? Why? Well, look, what part of speech is to? To is a preposition. And what did we say? Use an objective pronoun when it follows a preposition. Okay, so we need to change myself to me. Paul's letter to me about the missing money was not intended to be read by any other member of the organization. Okay, so um, let me show you one more thing, okay? Um, a few of these problems are using reflexive pronouns. Myself, myself, 
Okay, let me let me show you some reflexive pronouns off here in the margin. Okay, so we got I myself he himself she herself they them selves you know it itself we ourselves so on and so forth okay now um these pronouns right here to the left i she i i he she they okay those are uh let's go back those are subjective pronouns okay so these guys are subjective pronouns i'm just going to abbreviate Subjective pronouns, okay? And then myself, himself, herself, themselves, itself, ourselves. Those are reflexive pronouns. Okay, now, all you need to know is you can only use a reflexive pronoun if you've already used a subjective pronoun in the sentence, all right? These are couples, okay? So, like, I myself went to the game. He told her himself to run the errand. She herself likes to watch TV at nine o'clock. They always um, they always walk at night themselves. All right. The point being is that you can't use a reflexive pronoun unless you've already used a subjective pronoun in the sentence. Okay. Now, if you look at this sentence, right? Myself is a reflexive pronoun, but is I used in this sentence? No. Right. So it's just no go. You can't use it. Um, myself is used in this sentence uh but but is i also using it no it's not no go all right so um let's do one more problem all right and then we'll, we'll call it quits carlos cherished the memory of the day when him and his sister rosa were presented with awards in recognition of meritorious service to the community okay so the error occurs at a okay now see this word right here were what part of speech is that were is a verb, okay? Who is the subject of the verb? Who were presented? Well, Rosa and this pronoun right here. Okay, these are the, um, this is the subject of the verb. Okay, now, um, would you say him was presented or would you say he was presented? All right, we need to use he. And let me just bring us back here. All right. Now I taught you that uh, use a subjective pronoun when it's the subject of a verb. Okay, so um, that pronoun was the subject of the verb were. All right, and uh, him was being used, but it needs to be subjective. He. All right, let's read it. Carlos cherished the memory of the day when he and his sister Rosa were presented with awards in recognition of the meritorious service to the community. All right, guys, that's it for SAT Common Writing Error number seven. I hope you found this tutorial informative. Uh, please check out our other ones. Have a great day.